What makes NIA unique is that we learned and figured out early on what the needs were for survivors of domestic violence. And we took advantage of that and made that our mission statement. And that is to help those survivors get to a safe place. Our services are provided to all Prince George's County residents. We do not discriminate as far as race, creed, or religious affiliations. You do not have to be connected to any type of organization or affiliation. You just have to be a PG resident. So the NIA Foundation is a 501c3, and that means that we get our funding from contributions and donations that are made from individuals, also from the fundraising activities that we conduct. It's made it possible for us to do a lot more good work in the community, and we're really proud of a number of things. We have some standing ones like the NIA Wall, um, which helps us to kind of not just raise funds, but empower people Folks really love doing the tiles and they feel that it's a great empowerment exercise for them. We enjoy it a lot. It raises a lot of money for us and we hope that folks will continue to contribute in that way. My favorite fundraising event was our annual gala where we invited Mildred Muhammad, who is the ex-wife of the DC Sniper. During that event, she shared her special story that was connected to domestic violence. Um, her story was inspiring, uplifting, and engaging. I have a family member who was married for 16 years, and 13 years of, of that marriage, her husband abused her. So uh, 2015, it became life or death for her, and that's how Nia got started in helping survivors of domestic violence. So one of the things that no one knows about the NIA Foundation is even though we've been in business for three years, we have our own office inside of the Family Justice Center, and we, in our own rights across the board, have a lot of means at our disposal. We are still doing our board meetings every month at the kitchen table. So it's, it's kind of a thing with us. We love to get together. It's a very productive event, and we all look forward to it. Within the last three years, uh, we've seen an increase in community awareness. Um, our neighborhoods, churches, and communities are, have become more aware of domestic violence and how it impacts each other's lives. The biggest surprise over the last three years is that domestic violence has, the numbers have gone up. Um, we know that there are significant need for more shelters, more safe homes, and even though that we know that there's a need, the county knows that there's a need, and it's still difficult to, to get grants and to be recognized and, and to know that there's money and funds that's needed and available and that we're still in need of that. In the last three years, the NIA Foundation has really grown, not just in the way that we've reached out and folks have begun to kind of really recognize us, but also just as a group ourselves, the dynamic women that I have the privilege of working with to kind of make this whole thing happen. We've learned a lot about running a 501c3 in terms of what fundraisers work, um, how to partner best inside of our own community. We've done a lot of work in that area and we're really proud of it. What's changed in the last three years is that when NIA first started, we were a standalone organization. And within the last three years, we've partnered with the Prince George's County Family Justice Center. We've become one of their premier safe haven organizations for the clients of Prince George's County. The things that I'm most proud of with the foundation, one being that I, I have to give credit to my board of directors. Um, they'll tell you that I'm the face of NIA, but for me, they're the face of NIA. One of the other proudest moments would be partnering with the Family Justice Center, knowing that we are there and that we're there for them, and they know, the Justice Center know that we're there for them. That's an extremely proud moment for us.